Now, if you're wondering, is that a sock in her hair? Yeah, I have a sock in my hair. What can I say? I'm doing it for the volume. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much more lover who don't use. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday mom makeup look. I filmed a video very similar to this right after I had my son last year, but that was well over a year ago. So it was time for an update and a refresh because I'm using all new products and all new makeup techniques. I'm excited because I feel like this look has been my go-to look. It's the look that I feel most confident in and most comfortable in. So it's very mom friendly, no lashes, nothing crazy, very simple, but very much put together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started on the look. So one of the first things I'm going to start off with is a face oil. I'm telling you guys, I just, I have to use a face oil in my routine and this really isn't anything that's really changed. I was using a face oil by the brand Cure Wise, but I am gonna be using the pharmacy face oil that I did feature in a recent Sephora haul. This one's really good, very hydrating, and it just leaves my skin so incredibly luminous. If there's one thing that hasn't changed about me, it's skin prep. You guys know I love to say if you have a good base, you'll definitely have a good face. So I'm also gonna go in with a moisturizer. This one is by the brand Pharmacy. It's the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I do really like this one because it's really lightweight. It doesn't interfere with my makeup application, meaning it's not too heavy to the point where things are just gonna like slip and slide throughout the day. It's very lightweight. So if you guys are looking for a good daytime moisturizer, I definitely recommend checking this one out. So here is a close-up view of my skin. It's very glowy, luminous, and overall it's just hydrated. I do have some imperfections from previous breakouts, but I don't have any active breakouts. So I am really happy with the current skincare routine that I'm using. If you guys want an update on that, maybe I can film something for YouTube Shorts, Reels, or TikTok, but let me know down below. Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of brow lamination. I like to use the ABH Brow Freeze in the Kosas Brow Gel. I like to just take the spoolie, dip it into the brow freeze. I already did one side. We're gonna do this side on camera. I know what you're thinking. I thought I was past the brow lamination. I really did too, but I just find that it's what looks best on me personally. So I'm really just saturating my brows with the brow freeze. You really just wanna get in there and coat every single hair. This is just going to ensure that everything lays down really nice. So after laminating my brows, I do like to go in with some kind of brow powder. And I've really been loving the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This has definitely been an ongoing obsession since it came out, but I like to use this dark brown shade here on an angled brush. This one is just by ABH. It's the ABH 7B brush. And I am gonna take a little bit of this eyeshadow and I am going to take it right here towards the tail of my eyebrow. I typically like for the tail of my eyebrow to be a lot deeper than the front kind of mimicking more of a gradient brow. Depending on how much time I have, I'll also go in with some kind of brow tint pen. I like this one by NYX. This is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso. And I'll go in and start creating like fine hair-like strokes. And I don't like to go in too heavy with this because sometimes it's just very obvious. So I like to just use a very light hand and really only apply this in areas that need it. Of course, I have to go in with some kind of primer, and I've really been liking this one by the brand Refi. This is the Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. This is something that I tested out a couple videos back, and at first, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but it's a product I haven't been able to stop using. I really like it. It just gives my skin a really pretty glow before I actually go in with any face products. For foundation, I will be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is definitely a cult favorite. It's an oldie but a goodie, and it definitely is a foundation that I always keep in my makeup collection because it's a foundation that I know is gonna look good every single time. I have two shades, 4.5 and 5.75. I'm gonna use majority 4.5 and mix in just a hair of 5.75 to get my perfect match. It's actually quite funny because I feel like way back when I was really obsessed with applying my foundation with a beauty sponge but more recently i've really just been obsessed with using a brush this one is by sephora it's the number 56 foundation brush and it's really good 
Now, usually I will go in with concealer next, but more recently, I've really been obsessed with going in with cream bronzer or contour. I'm gonna use this one here by Liss, and I am going to apply it with the Makeup by Mario. I wanna say this is an F4. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I like to take it onto the brush first, and then I'll start to buff and blend it into the skin. This brush is incredible, by the way. I also have really been loving this cream bronzer. Before that, I was using the one by Rare Beauty, and then also Makeup by Mario. Really, whatever works for you guys. You definitely don't have to use the same products that I use. I just really love to come on here and show you the products that I'm using to just create my makeup looks, but at the end of the day, makeup is a personal preference, so whatever you're into. You can really use whatever cream blush you want, but I've really been liking this one here by the brand Say. This is the Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. It's a really pretty pink color, which is definitely different for me because you guys know I'm really into like coral blushes, but this one just looks really pretty on the cheeks. I also like that I can apply it directly to my skin without it looking crazy. Whenever I go in with, let's say my Rare Beauty Soft Pinch blushes, you guys know they get everywhere. And sometimes when you apply too much, your entire your face turns that color well this does not happen with this blush it blends out beautifully it also gives the skin a really beautiful glow the brush i'm using to buff and blend this out by the way is by the brand refi i really like this one i'm just using the dense side of the brush and then whenever i use powder i use the stippling side this just works really well to buff and blend out product now I know this looks really crazy, but trust and believe the process. I'm now gonna go in with concealer. And you guys know I've been loving this one here by Dior. This is the Dior Forever Skin Crack Concealer in the shade 1.5N. I'm gonna take some here and here. And then when I buff and blend it out, it's actually gonna bring my blush down just so that way everything looks nice, blended and seamless. So buff and blend out the concealer. I'm just gonna use this hourglass brush. I recently found it when I was clearing out my brushes and it is so fire. If it's really nice, like right in this area and it just blends out my concealer beautifully. For under eye powder, I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder. I actually like this one a lot more than the original. I found that the original one would make my eyes water for some weird reason, and I just don't have that issue with this product. So I'm just going to tap it to set that concealer down and in place. And I am using my Amazon Puff that I really, really love. Like, let me tell you, my under eyes have never looked this flawless. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of this powder on my forehead and chin because while I wanna look dewy and luminous, I don't wanna look oily. So I have to powder these areas. Now this is definitely gonna come as a big shocker, but for eyeshadow, I really haven't been doing anything too crazy. You guys remember those days where I was really into like dramatic eyeshadow, dramatic lashes, or dramatic wing? Well, I've definitely given that up a little bit since becoming a mom. I just like to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow primer. The one I use is from Rare Beauty. It's really thin in consistency and it just blends really nicely into the rest of my base makeup. For actual eyeshadow though, I've been keeping it really simple. I've been obsessed with smaller palettes. Don't get me wrong, I love palettes like this. By Make by Mario, the Master Mats will forever be one of my favorites, but I like palettes that aren't gonna take up a ton of space in my makeup collection. And I've been reaching for this one by Huda a lot. This is the Nude Medium Palette. And I really love the variation of warm tones, but also those pinky mauves. I am gonna take this shade here at the top. I've actually been ordering a few more mini palettes. I ordered the Urban Decay Smiley palettes because they're very fun and colorful for spring, but I also ordered some fresh new e.l.f. Bite Size mini palettes. If you guys have any recommendations for just smaller eyeshadow palettes that you could easily toss in your makeup bag, let me know down below because I'll definitely want to check those out. I also kind of feel like my eyeshadow application is a little different. I like to go in with a very light hand and I'll go in with like a brown shadow like I am right now and I'll put it in my crease, but I'll blow it out so much to the point where it kind of looks like a wash of color all over the lid as opposed to like wham bam eyeshadow if you get me. And I just feel like it looks really pretty and just really natural. I also like to take that same eyeshadow and then just lightly buff and blend it on my lower lash line. Again, same concept, just really nice, blown out, so that way it looks like a really pretty wash of color. 
Now, I definitely wanna keep this video as minimal and realistic as possible. Sometimes I'll go in with like a shimmer all over the lid, but most days I am just rocking out just like this. So I'm now gonna go in with an eyelash curler. This one is by Tweezer Man. And I feel like this has been a game changer in my routine. I absolutely have to go in and curl my eyelashes, especially because now I'm really not wearing false lashes as much as I used to, which I know probably comes as a big shocker because I was just a really big false lash wear for years but now that i have my son it's just not practical for day to day i rather just toss on mascara and look really like natural but put together so for mascara i've been going back and forth between like two different mascaras i love this one here by rare beauty but i also love the saint laurent lash clash in black like you guys have to check this one out if you have not tried it yet i'm just gonna stick to the rare beauty one though because i'm only like gonna be around the house and stuff like that and i feel like i use the saint laurent one on days where i want to feel like a little more bougie but because i'm really just going to be filming and doing stuff around the house i'm not gonna waste it but I'm gonna take it from root to tip and I actually like to apply my mascara a little different. I like to apply it like this way to kind of create the illusion of like demi wispies or something like that. So I'll kind of just coat it and then just brush it to the side. I do really like a clumpy lash. Like I don't like a long lengthy wispy lash. Like it definitely needs volume. It needs that clump. Like that's just really what I've been into. So I really have to build this one up. So before my mascara completely dries, I have to go in with the lash comb. This one is by Tweezer Man. It's a little dirty from yesterday, but I'm still gonna use it. I like this because it really helps to separate my lashes. I also kind of feel like it lifts them in a way as well. So I'll go in, separate the lashes. Then I'll go in with another coat of mascara, then the lash comb one more time. I mean, come on, I'm literally obsessed with this method. Don't worry if you get mascara all over your lid. It happens to me all the time. I just wait for it to completely dry and then I just kind of scrape it off with a spoolie or a Q-tip. So here is a super up close look at the lashes. I think it's wild because for years and years and years, I really just could not see, I think I have something in my eye. I could not see like the true beauty in just wearing mascara because I was still so heavily obsessed with lashes and heavy eye makeup. But this is such a simple look. I feel like the lashes all on its own make a statement and it's something that you could easily toss on if you wanna instantly look put together. And when I say instantly, I mean instantly because it only takes like a wash of eyeshadow and a little bit of mascara. Anyways, let's talk about the lip combo. I shared this lip combo over on TikTok and Reels, but I'll share it here on YouTube too. I've been obsessed with the Lip Contour 2.0 Pencils by Huda Beauty. This one here is in the shade Sandy Beige. It's a really pretty, I guess you can say muted Sandy Beige shade. It doesn't pull too brown or too pink. Then I'm gonna go in with a liquid lipstick, which is big for me because I feel like I haven't really been into liquid lipsticks, but this one by Laura Lee Los Angeles in the shade Old Rose is really pretty. Plus I find that it lasts really long throughout the day. So that's why I've been using more liquid lips. So once that's completely dried, I like to go in with the Lip Plumping Serum by Makeup by Mario. This one's in the shade Nude Glow. It looks very pale, but I find paired directly over top of this adds the prettiest amount of shine. I did realize I skipped one thing, which is my nose contour. So I'm gonna go in with this by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Bronzer. You guys look how much I have left of this. I've had it for so long at this point. I have the shade Medium and I'm just gonna take a flat brush and create a little bit of dimension on my nose. This is very crucial, especially on days where I know I'm going to be filming. Like I have to do a little bit of nose contour. Also this brush here by Sephora Collection is the perfect brush to do this because it's really straight. So I'm able to get my nose contour pretty close to perfect. The best way to blend out a nose contour is with a little bit of face powder. So with that same brush, I'm just gonna go alongside the edges and softly start to buff and blend this into the rest of my makeup, just so that way it's not so stark and harsh. And then I also like to go in with a little bit of blush. So I'm gonna take that stippling brush and then just dust a little bit over top of the nose and then back into the cheeks. 
And then since I'm here, might as well ball out. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is the Dior Backstage Highlighter, and I'm just gonna take a little bit here on the apples or the cheeks. And I am using a big stippling brush because I don't want it to look too stark or harsh. So another thing I've been doing is kind of like this volume curling method to my hair where I'll take three flexi rods, put it in a sock, and then roll it up in my hair while I do my makeup. So that way when I'm done, I have the prettiest amount of volume. It's insane, you guys. I'm gonna take it down so you guys can see, but I'll just kind of roll this down. Do you guys see this? Just wait, but. Like I was saying, I have three flexi rods in a black sock and then that's what I use to roll it up. And then I'll just secure it like this. I'm gonna kind of just maneuver my hair so that way I kind of get the volume I'm talking about. Honestly, you kind of have to play with it to get it to blend with the rest of the hair, but I really love it. Usually I will take a bigger section back here, pull it forward, but today I only did like a small area of my bang. I am gonna insert a picture here if you guys wanna see what it usually looks like. I am quite obsessed with it, but besides that, I really hope you guys enjoyed sitting down with me today and playing in makeup and learning all about the new products and techniques I've been using to do my everyday mom makeup look. I'm obsessed with this look. I feel like it's timeless. It's a look that's really never gonna go out of style. So I will link all products down below if you guys are interested in checking those out. And if you guys wanna see anything else in particular, let me know down below in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.